I welcome you to two minutes in the olive garden. Today's text, Exodus chapter 3, verse 12. And God said, I will be with you, and this will be the sign to you that it is I who have sent you. When you have brought the people out of Egypt, you will worship God on this mountain. This does not make common sense. It is like you have you have a, a shop and you have run out of stock on a certain commodity, on a certain product you are selling. The product cost price is very expensive, say $100,000. Then a new customer you don't know comes to your shop to buy the product. Then you tell the client, I'm sorry, uh, we have run out of stock, but we can only order on request because what we are ordering is very expensive. People hardly buy. Then the customer says, oh, don't worry, just order. When it comes, I will pay. Then you tell him, Masa, I can't do that. What if I order it and you don't come to buy or we don't even see you again? It will be a debt on me, a huge burden. Then the client tells you, um, don't worry, just go ahead. Buy, I will come. You say, no. Client, you would have to pay 70% down payment. When the thing comes, then you pay 30, then you come for it. The client still insists. I said, I will pay. The evidence that I will pay is that when the item arrives, I will be here standing at your shop. What kind of an evidence is that? If you were the seller, would you order this expensive item for the customer? Definitely not. How can you give Moses an assurance that could only be realized after Moses had performed the task? Why not give him some evidence now? What if Moses even dies in the process of delivering his people? How would he return to that mountain? Yet, this is the kind of faith God expects from us when we move by faith and not by sight. Moses had no other evidence that it was God, yet God was expecting him to believe and to move. Don't be afraid to move by faith. It is risky. It's a very risky thing to do. But you see, life is full of risks. I challenge you today to provoke your faith. Make a move and watch God move with you in a miraculous way. The shalom of Yahweh be upon you.